Hey everyone, it's Matthew here once again in the greenhouse at Earthworks. And today with me, I have a Stapelia gigantea. So it doesn't seem so gigantea right now, but there's gonna be an image that pops up somewhere over here or somewhere over here of the giant flower. Um, these plants have some of the most dramatic flowers, especially for something that's a succulent or a cacti. Um, and is also very easy to grow, both indoors or out. Now, you can grow these indoors in a very bright window. They do need a lot of sun, okay? Outdoors, full sun, hot, dry. If you can provide a location in the ground, ideally, because they kind of crawl and spread. So they look really great outdoors in the ground, low and spreading, or indoors in kind of a low bowl where they have some room to kind of fill it out. So you want a shallow but kind of wide bowl or trough or something that's very well drained, mixing in lots of gravel at the bottom and ensuring that they don't stay wet. Staying wet is their enemy, okay? So we really want these to dry out. They prefer that. Now, once they do dry out, water them, okay? That will speed up the growth rate. So with a lot of cacti and succulents, although they don't need a lot of water, so long as they're dry, when you water or they when, when they receive water, it will speed up their growth rate considerably. And you'll see that with a lot of other types of cacti and succulents. Like for example, agaves. In the desert, they grow much slower because they might only get a few inches of rain a year. But here in Florida, we get a few feet of rain a year. And so long as the soil is well-drained or the containers are well-drained, they receive that extra water and it does speed up their growth rate considerably. So again, with the stapelias, and there are many in this family that are very interesting, I have gone so far as to start a small collection of some of these uh, really interesting um, plants. And each one of them has a very dramatic and a very showy flower. They're also considered carrion flowers because they attract flies they do put off a bit of a fragrance when they are when they are blooming uh, a fragrance that sometimes can be very strong depending on the 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 species and sometimes very mild so the stapelia gigantea has a very mild fragrance it's very difficult to smell but it does attract flies which pollinate them so this has a very dramatic flower as we were talking about just a few moments ago that when closed looks like a very strange shaped balloon when it's closed there's that air pocket in the middle and then it begins to unfurl to reveal this really really interesting starfish shaped flower now each variety of stapelia has a different color slightly different size slightly different shape slightly different form there's some that actually look like a bell like this red bell on the outside and it's black in the middle i think that's the leander eye um, stapelia uh, but the gigantia has kind of a yellow with some red veining on it and all of them uh, generally do attract pollinators um, that are types of flies and i'm looking forward to one day getting a seed i've seen the flies in my flowers before i've had multiple flowers open hoping that they're getting some cross-pollination, but yet still waiting uh, to get a seed. So I would love to grow these from a seed, but you don't need seeds to grow these and to propagate these. They, these are all divisions from a private collection um, here in Jacksonville. So they can be taken from cuttings and then rooted. I use the um, potting mix for these. I just keep them dry. I have tried some other mixes, but the potting mix seems to be doing very well and so long as I water them and let them dry out in between the waterings, they root very quickly. Within a month or so, they have a pretty decent root system, um, which is actually very surprising. So we have a pretty good selection of these right now here at Earthworks. They make a great gift. They're definitely a conversation piece. The first time you see them bloom, uh, you will certainly be amazed. Come check them out here at Earthworks.